In modern warfare, mobility is more than an advantage. It is survival. Armored forces can maneuver, strike, and gain the initiative only as long as they keep moving. But the battlefield is filled with obstacles, rivers, canals, destroyed bridges, and rugged terrain that can stall an entire army. To maintain momentum, engineers must race ahead of the front line, constructing or deploying bridges under pressure, often under fire. Behind these rapid bridging missions stands a heavy machine rarely noticed outside engineer units, a vehicle built not to fight, but to ensure everyone else can. This is the M1977 Common Bridge Transporter, the unsung workhorse that carries the bridges which carry the army. By the end of the 1970s, the US Army had recognized a growing challenge. Modern armored forces were becoming faster and heavier, but their ability to cross natural and man-made obstacles had not kept pace. Traditional bridging required cranes, large crews, and slow, deliberate assembly. In high-tempo operations, these delays could be devastating. NATO planning in Europe predicted dozens of river obstacles that could delay a mechanized advance. Enter the HEMTT, the Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck. It was built to be the Army's primary heavy logistics platform. But for combat engineers, the M977 HEMTT cargo truck offered something more. A rugged, high-mobility 8x8 chassis that could be adapted into a rapid bridge transporter. At its core, the M1977 remains part of the HEMTT family, sharing the same powerful engine, off-road mobility and heavy suspension. But the transformation from M977 cargo truck to M1977 bridge transporter is dramatic. The centerpiece of this evolution is the Load Handling System, or LHS. This hydraulic arm and hook mechanism allows the M1977 to approach a bridge module, lift it onto the truck bed, secure it, transport it over long distances, and offload it, all with a crew of only two soldiers. Before the LHS existed, Bridge components required cranes or specialized recovery vehicles. The process took time and manpower. With the LHS, engineer units could deploy bridge modules in minutes, not hours. This innovation turned the M1977 into a force multiplier, making it one of the most efficient engineering support vehicles ever fielded by the U.S. Army. Understanding the importance of the M1977 requires looking at the systems it carries. The truck supports two major U.S. Army bridge types, the improved ribbon bridge for water crossings and the medium girder bridge for land-based gaps. Both are highly modular, highly mobile, and essential to modern battlefield maneuver. The improved ribbon bridge, IRB, a floating pontoon bridge system, the IRB unfolds into buoyant bays that can be connected on water to form a continuous roadway. Each interior bay is about 6.7 meters long, unfolding to nearly 7 meters wide, while the larger ramp bays stretch to around 11 meters. Once assembled, the IRB can support heavy armored vehicles with load ratings up to MLC 80 tracked or MLC 110 wheeled. The M1977's LHS is built to handle these massive modules, lifting and placing them directly along riverbanks where engineer boat teams connect them into a bridge or ferry system. The second system is the Medium Girder Bridge, a land-based, lightweight girder bridge composed of modular aluminum panels. 
each panel measures about 2.7 meters, and when assembled, single or double story, the MGB can span between 31 and 49 meters. Depending on configuration, it can handle loads up to MLC 100, enough for main battle tanks. The M1977 transports these panels, ramps and deck units straight to the construction site, enabling teams to work quickly and efficiently. Together, the IRB and MGB form the backbone of the Army's gap-crossing capability, and the M1977 is the logistical lifeline that delivers both systems to the battlefield. Like other Hemt vehicles, the M1977 evolved through several generations. M1977 A0, the original version based on early M977 designs. It provided basic LHS functionality and served as the core bridge transporter through the late Cold War. M1977, a two introduced in the 1990s with an improved Detroit diesel engine upgraded suspension, and better electrical systems. It offered greater reliability and compatibility with heavier bridge loads. M1977 A4, the most modern and capable version, produced under the HEMTT recapitalization program. Key upgrades include a powerful 500 horsepower Caterpillar, C15 engine, anti-lock braking system, central tire inflation system, redesigned cab and improved crew safety, stronger hydraulic system for faster LHS operations, superior off-road performance in desert and mountainous terrain. The A4 set the standard for today's bridging operations. The M1977 has supported nearly every major US Army campaign and engineering mission since the 1980s, Iraq War and Afghanistan. In Iraq, the M1977 helped rebuild destroyed crossings targeted by insurgents. In Afghanistan, it delivered bridges to remote valleys and rugged terrain where infrastructure was poor or non-existent. Humanitarian missions floods, earthquakes and natural disasters often leave communities isolated. The M1977 has been used to transport modular bridges for emergency restoration of vital routes, NATO and multinational exercises. During large exercises such as Defender Europe, M1977 units work alongside NATO allies, demonstrating rapid crossing capabilities essential for modern coalition operations. In warfare, speed kills, but mobility wins. An armored brigade that cannot cross a river or a destroyed road might as well be standing still. The M1977 ensures this never happens. By combining off-road power, heavy payload capacity, and the speed of the load handling system, the M1977 allows combat engineers to deploy bridges far faster than traditional methods. Its efficiency reduces manpower demands, minimizes risk, and maintains the momentum of the entire force. The M1977 is not just a transporter. It is a strategic enabler, a vehicle that quietly ensures the army can keep fighting, keep moving, and keep winning. For more than four decades, the M1977 Common Bridge Transporter has stood at the center of the Army's mobility operations. It works in harsh conditions, in combat zones, in disaster areas, and in multinational exercises, always with the same purpose, bringing the bridge to the fight. It may not have the glamour of a tank or the firepower of a missile system, but without it, armies would be stopped cold at the water's edge. The M1977 is the machine that builds the battlefield, one bridge at a time. This is Military Truck, your source for military logistics, 
heavy equipment, and tactical vehicle history. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the machines behind the mission.